So nowadays you buy these as a complete kit. So it's kind of nice even when you buy them anymore. Everything's already pressed on. Wheel studs. Let's see here. Wrangler JLJT. Chrome Molly right rear. Alright, so I'm going to take these. I'll wipe them down a little bit. Now the right side will be your passenger side. I had to look that up too to see if it was make sure I was correct. Cause the shafts are not the same length. You can see here that one is clearly longer than the other. Alright, so one thing is easy to see on these. So they use good Timken bearings, which I like. Already got the new studs pressed in. They're all ready to go. Obviously, we'll have to grease the seal a little bit so it slides in easy. Now everybody has their preference, but as you can tell by the way I've done everything up to this point, I like this red and tacky grease by Lucas with the anti-seize in it. Okay, so just remember that the right side is the passenger side. Make sure your old bearing raise is out of this. Now remember that as this is running, there's going to be grease running down the tube to help lube those bearings. So, And your backer plate, the cutout will be to the back. Make sure these bolt holes are fairly lined up. the way up with the retainer. We want the right side. Should be the longer of the two. So the tag is a right rear axle. I'm going to put some grease or some anti-seize on the, the seal. Because I just noticed by looking at mine, I've got a seal that's leaking. Now obviously if you're doing this on a trail, this one you're taking out with a wrench. You're just looking down there in, in the shoe to make sure it's all the way up against the backer. Now one place I did find was a good source for all the torque specs and, and I verified them with another site but Way of Life has all these torque specs out there as well and I checked it with, with some others just to make sure that they were correct. So these are going to be at 59 foot-pounds.
Just like you're tightening lug nuts. All right, so once you have your rotors ready, your, your emergency brakes on the Jeep are on the inside of the drum. So we have videos out there to how to how to adjust for that. Just line up and keep in mind where this tap hole is right here, because that's where the retainer is going to go for the drum itself. There's several places on the drum where you can bolt that in, so it doesn't have to be in no one certain spot. So once you go to put that on, it'll be your T30. Just You'll screw that in, and it doesn't have to be super tight because it's going to be behind your rim anyway. So that's going to hold that on. Alright, a couple of things from the back here. That's where your caliper mount's going to go. Before we put that on, here's where your sensor will go in. So this is where your sensor goes in for your wheel speed. So be sure to put that back in. And these are just held on by two 18 millimeters. Make sure that they're well anti-seized because you, know, you might have to take these off on the trail. So if you get new brake shoes, usually they come with these little metal clips. Now they cut the tar out of you. But make sure you get those replaced as well. That's what keeps the brake shoe floating as the caliper squeezes. And as you know, the caliper just mounts up to, you know, these two locations. <clears throat> and we'll snug them up even more once this axle's on the Jeep. And then your plug for your e-locker, we just got it covered right now. Because we have to get the wiring all in the Jeep. So that's a basic assembly of a Dana 44. Pretty easy to assemble. You don't need a whole lot of tools to pull the axles out. In our other videos we show turning the rotor upside down to pull the axle out if you need to. So this has just been putting together a Dana 44 axle. Now this is out of a 2018 JL Rubicon that we're going to put in our sport. So eventually this will go under our Jeep and we'll have videos for that as well. And I'll put a link where we actually weld it on the, the truss here. It's a pretty easy install. So until then, I'll see you in the next build. Whether it's in the garage, in the trail, or to show somewhere, enjoy this content. Please remember to subscribe.